hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to adjust padding on squarespace let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is the first time on squarespace i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Adjusting padding on Squarespace allows you to control the space around elements such as images, text blocks, or entire sections, which helps improve the visual layout and readability of your website. So here's how to adjust padding on Squarespace. Once you're logged into your account, I want you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see your profile icon and click on the account dashboard. What will happen is you would be forwarded here on the website that you are currently working with. Now click on the website. In this case, I'm going to be working with this one. Okay. I'm going to click on the edit section for us to be able to adjust and control the spacing section. All right. Now, you see there's three options at the upper right corner where you can have the desktop view, the mobile view, and the paint, like a paintbrush icon. That's going to be the site styles. If you click that, there's going to be an option here at the bottom that says miscellaneous. Click that and you would be able to see the spacing. Now, you can adjust the spacing for a lot of elements here. For example, this one, 120, you see, side margin, you see that? That's how you adjust the padding on Squarespace, all right? So if you hover to the mobile view, of course, you would be able to see how the padding affects the aesthetics readability of your elements here on your website all right and if you wanted to reset styles to defaults all you have to do is click this option right here just click on that for now and it's being reset now i want you to exit this one click on accessories and then go to miscellaneous again go to the image blocks and then from hover down below where you can see the, you see that the content padding. This is where you adjust. For example, if you wanted to uh, bump it up, you are welcome to do so. You see that? And once you're happy with that, all you have to do is click on save. Now I want you to click on exit. You can also implement these padding and adjustments to all of the pages to your website. All right. So store demo, portfolio. Say, for example, for book appointment right here, you can, so, you can also add that because adjusting padding helps create more spaces around text, making it easier for visitors to read and engage with their content. Because, you know, for uh, with too little padding, it can make the site look cluttered and hard to read while too much padding can waste screen space you see that you might want to adjust again to side style and of course go to the miscellaneous and adjust the padding for your preferences all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one